This video demonstrates the benefits of fluid delivery by flow control with fast feedback. In this example, three fluid streams are being delivered simultaneously using a Core Solutions New Wave pump operated in flow control mode. Channel 1 corresponds to the green liquid on top, channel 2 is the red liquid on the bottom, and channel 3 is the clear liquid in the middle. Here fluid delivery in all three channels is controlled by flow rate with closed loop feedback control. To start, all channels are flowing at 3 microliters per minute. Then the flow rate of the green liquid is increased to 12 microliters per minute, while the other two channels are maintained at 3 microliters per minute. Next, the green liquid channel is returned to 3 microliters per minute before repeating the experiment. You can see that the flow rates for the clear and red channels, shown in the blue lines of the bottom two plots, are not affected by the drastic flow rate changes in the green channel. This is because the Core Solutions New Wave pump is operated in flow control mode, and with its rapid feedback control, the pump is able to rapidly compensate for flow and or pressure changes introduced to the system. Let's now compare the results obtained using flow control mode, which was used in this previous experiment, to those from pressure control mode. In this next case, we will observe how controlling pressure affects flow rates. This video demonstrates the drawbacks associated with fluid delivery controlled by pressure. In this example, three fluid streams are being delivered simultaneously using a Core Solutions New Wave pump. To start, each fluid stream is switched from flow control mode into pressure control mode. Then the set point pressure for the green liquid is increased to approximately double, where the pressures for the other two channels remain unchanged. As expected, this pressure increase causes the flow rate of the green liquid to increase. However, the increase in pressure in the green channel also unexpectedly causes the flow rates for the red and clear channels to decrease by 20-25%, to 25%, as shown in the blue lines of the bottom two plots. The pressure set point of the green liquid is then returned to the starting value, allowing all three flow rates to return to their own starting values. The experiment is then repeated, and once again, the flow rates in the red and clear channels unexpectedly decrease. This demonstrates the importance of operating in flow control mode with fast feedback, where flow or pressure changes in one channel do not negatively impact the flows in the other channels, as observed here in pressure control mode.